Alright guys, welcome to a new video. In this particular video today, I actually want to talk about the process of making this uh, be behind the scenes video and the actual music video of Heaven Was Wrong. Now, this is a really fun one and it was between me and Saray, uh, the guy, his name is Josh, Saray is his uh, music name, and sort of the production and the behind the scenes of how we did it. Now, I shot that with uh, this right here the Sony a7S 3 uh, which is an incredible camera uh, at the time I didn't have the Sony a7 IV but this one held its own really well and I was using uh, the Zeiss 18mm Batis 2.8 and the Batis 25mm f2 which are incredible lenses and I highly recommend them and I'll look at doing a review on them sometime in the near future now discussing the mu music video and a little bit about the lighting so with the a7S III, I was shooting obviously between its uh, native ISO of 800 and some of the church scenes uh, were shot at 12,800. The church was relatively dim, not the best lit and there was so much you could do because especially for the wide shots and stuff, we were kind of limited in terms of the lighting we could use. Uh, when we got closer, I did think about using uh, the pano tubes, which was something I used later on, which I'll talk about in a bit. But for the most part, the lighting was sort of dim, but enough for the A7S III to handle a 12,800 ISO, which is its dual ISO setting. So that was really great. And it honestly performed fantastic. And there was no issues with the camera. Moving on, when we got to the bedroom scene, because there's about three scenes, I believe. There's a church scene. There's um, the bedroom scene. And we also have uh, the beach scene which was um, also another important uh, scene for the story, which I'll come to a little bit later. Now, moving on to the bedroom scene, this is probably where it was the most lit uh, with lighting uh, setup. So I used um, a pano tube. I had the 15C pano tube. Uh, we had a lamp and I originally brought a Godex um, 60 uh, watt, but we didn't end up using that because there was no need. The pano tube performed honestly uh, fantastic and it really is an incredible light uh, to carry with you. I have the four pack and I highly uh, recommend it. So that being said, that was lit with those two lights, the lamp and the pano tube. And as you can see, it looks incredible. We had a fog machine as well, which we used to kind of set up the mood and the aesthetic of the shot. Um, you know, obviously in this scene, um, the character is very depressed. The story uh, of the song is about um, Josh, uh, the character, in the, um, you know, the the guy singing, sorry, uh, losing his grandfather. And so it's a very dear and personal, intimate song. And in this particular scene, um, he's very depressed. He's drinking, he's smoking, and we wanted to kind of create that mood and that kind of aesthetic. Blue sort of being a little bit more cold and visually it looked great as well. And then moving on to the beach scene. Now the beach obviously was all naturally lit. It was just me, um, Josh and his father who played a small role uh, towards the end of the music video. And um, yeah, it was all naturally lit. I mean like choosing the right timing of the day uh, is really important. I, I definitely don't recommend shooting on a very harsh day because then you're gonna have very strong shadows especially like when you're shooting like uh, for example early morning uh, to that kind of late arvo when the, when the sun's really strong I generally find sort of like midday depending on you know uh, uh, the sun and uh, what kind of day it is but I generally prefer to shoot um, overcast that's sort of my favorite kind of weather or um, just after rain which is also really nice as well but we had a really nice day. Um, it wasn't too sunny. It was great. And um, luckily the lighting was pretty even, which I was really uh, happy about. And um, we ended up spending about, I'd say a solid hour um, getting all the shots we needed for this. And um, it was really great. Now, looking back, the one thing I would say uh, that, you know, we kind of um, missed the opportunity, especially for me, as the cinematographer was um, I don't feel we got enough different angles not that we necessarily needed it but I think it would have been really nice to have um, because it would have just definitely helped with uh, 
with adding additional cuts and um, you know different um, what's the word different angles of the shots but at the same time I feel the way we did it ended up cutting beautifully anyway so yeah but yeah for the most part it was just me and Josh uh, throughout the production uh, very low budget um, we pretty much used my gear um, we got the church um, because you know Josh knew someone from there so we got very lucky with that as well and um, um, the beach was very easy the shot in the bedroom was done at um, his place um, and his grandma's place so we got also very fortunate with that as well so yeah I mean like when doing a low budget music video and wanting to make it look professional it's definitely very possible um, the main thing is having a kind of understanding of where you want to shoot it and sort of creating the music video around that you know me and uh, Josh kind of spoke about this beforehand we kind of spoke about what we wanted to do what our kind of plan was where the scenes were going to be and how we could you know make do without any costs involved whatsoever because sometimes when you're getting a location you need permits sometimes there are costs involved you know you need to wait for the owner to get back the way we did it was really flexible for us and really easy to work with and that worked for us and that may work for you guys or it may not depending on the situation but I definitely recommend doing a lot of pre-production beforehand when shooting a music video to kind of understand what your limitations might be what to expect and that there's no hidden surprises when you get there or before you get there for that matter so something to think about but all in all I think the music video turned out really great uh, it's not currently out at the moment as this video is going to be uploaded however once it is there will be a link in the description uh, with the music video which will be on Josh's channel once it's released but all in all guys um, I hope you enjoyed these clips throughout um, the music video just showing you guys some some behind the scenes of how we did it and if you enjoyed the video I'd really appreciate if you gave it a like if you haven't subscribed yet please subscribe and as always guys I will see you guys on the next one stay safe be well see you guys soon I can't, can't believe it. Why do I feel you're right in front of me? Wondering if it's a lucid dream. I only stare at you in photos.